Hi, this is Helen. I'm going to show you some basics to do with Weebly, setting up a Weebly site which you can use as a portfolio. So I'm in my Weebly demonstration portfolio and this is what the I've set it up so that it has a home page, an about me page and a portfolio index. Now there's nothing on the home page yet, we'll do that together I'll show you, but I'll show you the about me page and there's an about me and this is where you can say a little bit about who you are, share some photos if you want to, to let your audience know a little more personal things about you if you would like or professional things. And then there's the portfolio and I've set up a portfolio which is designed to showcase work for the Educ 2000 technology for teaching and learning course. So let's show you what to do when you go behind the curtain as it were. So when you're in your Weebly site, you'll notice that the URL of my site is hrallis at dot weebly dot com. So when you set up a Weebly site, you get to choose what you will call it. I just used my name, hrallis. You can do that or you can call it techie teacher or something like that. And it will let you know if that name is taken. And you keep trying till you find one that isn't taken. Now, once <clears throat> I'm in the public site, but to get into my the editing side of Weebly. I click on, this is a little trick, if you go to the bottom of the page you'll see it says powered by Weebly. If you click on Weebly, this is of course once you've set up your site, it takes you behind the curtain and to your site. Now I actually have a number of sites within Weebly and you'll just have one to start off with. So I've called mine the Demo Tech Portfolio. So now what it's doing is it will take me to, if I click on edit, it'll take me to the editing side and I'll show you how to add things to a page. So this is the home page, all right? Um, if I go to pages here, you can see I have a bunch of different pages. If I click on home, then I'm on the home page and I want to build. So I click on build, that enables me to add things to it. When you click on build and you slide over to the left side, this is on a laptop by the way, not on a a tablet. When you slide over to the left on the build, it gives you the options that you can add to the page. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little T for title, drag it and drop it where it says drag elements here. And I'm going to drop it there. And it says click here to edit. And so that's where you will be able to put in a, a, a title. So I'm going to say welcome to my Weebly Actually, I don't even have to call it Weebly. To my technology, uh, I'm going to say a website. And that's good enough for now. And then I want to add a paragraph. So I slide over here, grab a text, which, and I drag and I drop that below. And it says click here to edit. And this is where I can type in the text of what I want to say. Usually what I recommend that you do on the home page is tell your audience what the purpose of your page is. So the purpose of this site is to showcase highlights of my work throughout our UMD Edu 2000 technology for teaching and learning course. So for students in my class you can say something like that and I said to start off with I'm going to be playing around with Weebly and so that my audience know that it's not done yet and they can come back and return to see what's there. So I've got all that I want on this page. Once you've finished working on a page or you want to leave it for now, what I recommend that you do is click on the blue publish button at the top right hand corner and that will save it. Notice when I entered that paragraph I actually didn't type it. I composed this paragraph in a text editing um, program because I don't want to compose directly into Weebly and lose it. So I recommend you compose in text edit or Word or Google Doc and then paste into here, paste the text. So when you've got it as you want, you click on the publish button and it swirls around here while it publishes the site. And then when it's done, it says your site is published and this is the URL of your site. It does try to sell you the commercial one, ignore that. So don't click continue. Just it, You can see that it's there. You can either X out of this to, to, to close it or if you want to see what your site looks like to the public, 
click on the link there and it opens it and you see now this is published. So coming back into the editing, let me show, I'll click X out of that so I can carry on editing. Let's go to the pages and I'm going to click back here so I can see all the pages. There's home, there is the about me page, notice that there's an about me and you can see on the about me I have pictures and text and then also just pictures. If I show you the, let's go to my other pages, I have a portfolio index page and this here is a list of all the pages that I have in my portfolio. And why I have that as an index page, let me show you the public side. When you have, when people visit your site, if they hover over the portfolio index page and they don't click, they can actually go directly to any of these pages because we've made these as hyperlinks. So let's click on coil, for example, it'll take us there. Or if I click on social media, it'll take us there. But sometimes people don't know that and they'll actually click on the page index itself. So it's a good idea to have on the page, that's the index, a list of all your items. So let me show you behind the curtain what that looks like. There's the index page and you'll see that I have the index page and then I have a page for each of the portfolio topics. And in our course, I'll show you how to do that. But this should get you started on setting up a portfolio and the diff at, at, you'll start off just with the, uh, the, the main page. This is what I'm going to have you create. So a home page, experiment with an about me page, and we'll la later on learn how to do the portfolio index and the other pages.